All right, we have Jalen Cohn and Jalen Tyson here. We'll open it up to questions for them. Jalen Tyson, can you just talk about how in the world you guys came back from 20 points down and what this feels like? Um, I remember last time I was in the seat, I talked about this word adversity. A lot of teams haven't been through as much as much adversity like Devin Ashley going down. You know, like we have, we've been through a lot. We haven't had a full roster since we started playing. Um, the first game, I wasn't playing because of my waiver. Then you had now the second game, nobody, somebody else wasn't playing. Like it just continuing on, and I feel like we just keep battling and battling. We never give up. That's the thing about this team. That's gonna take us a long way because we never give up. Jalen, <clears throat> man, just like just like JT said, we we got down. I think it was twenty at one point, and uh, everybody kept their composure, kept their heads. We started out slow, didn't play our best basketball, but everybody just we stuck together, had one another's back, and. That led to us getting this win. For both of you guys, what did you guys say to each other, or what did Coach Madsen say to you at halftime? Let's, put another, let's get another 20 minutes. I mean, game's not over. We was at halftime. Um, the leaders said what we had to say. We regrouped, and we came back out fighting. We knew the key was defense. We, we didn't guard to save our lives in that, that first half. And we knew it was going to start on the defensive end, and we have weapons on the offensive end, such as Jalen Tyson and other pieces. So we knew offense was going to take care of itself. We just knew defense was going to be the key, and we was going to get the job done. You, um, mentioned, you mentioned the defense, um, but on the offensive end, it looked like there was a lot of watching shots go up and turning back, heading down the court. But in the last 10 minutes in particular, you guys were crashing the boards left and right and really coming down with a lot of balls. Um, what's it going to take to see a little bit more of that spread out through the games? I think it's going to start with our starts. Um, we had one good start the whole year, and that was the UCLA game. And we came out from 20 minutes to 20 minutes. We flat out, flat out dominated in that game, you know? And I feel like our starts have to be way better, and that's going to help us be a better team down the road. <clears throat> Jalen Cohn, can you talk about what Jalen gave you guys? I think he had 23 in the second half. Man, J JT is special. Um, I got to witness it firsthand this summer when I came in, and um, he's a, he's a first round draft pick. And sooner or later, people are gonna recognize that. But um, man, he was special. 20, 20 did what twenty does, and he's been special for us all summer. And now you all are just getting to see it. So he was phenomenal for us. The team get, came together on the defensive end, had each other's back, and on the offensive end, he led the way, and he didn't disappoint. And I like chime in on that. Like with me. My teammates like Jalen Cohn, everybody believes in me. So when Coach Madison draws up that play for me, everybody knows this is what's going to happen, you know? And that's like the most, the most confidence I've ever had. They have more confidence in myself than sometimes I have in me, Coach Madison, the staff, the team. Like, I just, I just got to go out. And I told them I had those back. I got y'all. And, you know, this is what happens. We've been through, we practice hard every day, you know? Um, we've been, like I said, adversity. Adversity is the biggest thing with this team. We just keep fighting, and they believed in me, and then we came out with the win. You know, and the shots weren't falling for you early, but you hit some real critical free throws at the end. Um, did you really kind of take it upon yourself to know what those meant in, in terms of being able to maintain that lead? Um, I've been in that situation a bunch of times. Um, I've been in that atmosphere a bunch of times. So I really didn't try to think much of it and put that pressure on me. I was just like, you know, we just got to knock these down and get stops on the defense. And so uh, when I just get in those scenarios, I just really don't feel much pressure at all. Just. Just, I know I practice on that. I know I'm in the gym constantly working on that, um, like those situations. So, just following through and and then getting stops on the defense end. Jalen Tyson, I'm old enough to remember when the point forward was kind of introduced by Don Nelson, mm -hmm. who's a guy named Paul Pressing. Again, showed some names that are uh, probably beyond <laughs> your your <laughs> knowledge, but Paul Pressing became really well known for being a point forward. Are you a point forward right now? Oh, I'm a basketball player. I wouldn't say a point forward. Um, if that's what you want to call it, I guess. I mean, I just feel like I'm a versatile wing. I can do almost anything on the court, you know. I got to stay with my defense. Um, I'm working constantly to work on that, but I, I would consider that, yeah. Jalen Tyson, there was about when you play about two and a half minutes of the game. You drive in, defense collapses on you. You immediately pull back out, kick over to Kenny, kick over to Jalen Cone. Mm -hmm. Was that a design play coming out of that, the break right there, or was that a read and react? Um, it's, it's really like read and react like coach puts us through a lot to to understand like stuff's going to get cut off the teams are going to understand what we're doing so that's just us playing basketball and we've been through that like in practice we work on stuff like that we go against the scout team we go against the second unit so i mean we've been there before um, it's for Jalen Cohn, just uh, felt like the whole time coach Madison's energy was always up whether you guys were down 20 up 
Um, how influential is he just kind of with that energy and how influential he is with Man, he's great. Like I said, and JT said earlier, he has just the ultimate confidence in us. So we know when, when things get tough and we go down 20 or some shots not falling on my end, um, he always tells me, yo, take the next shot. Don't hesitate. Um, and just his confidence, that feeds onto us and helps us make plays down, uh, like down the stretch. JT made a lot of plays because he had confidence from, for one, Coach Matson, but then the rest of the guys. Me, I had confidence from Coach Matson and the rest of the guys. So it just allows us to be our best selves while we're out there on the court, just with his energy and his enthusiasm and his confidence in us. And I would chime in on that. Like, the way I would describe Mark Matson is he's, a, he's an everyday guy, you know? Um, when we were losing a couple games, stretches, he's the same person every single day. When we win these games, he's the same person every single day. So that's the word that would, that's the two words I would describe him. Everyday guy. That's what he is. And he's gonna stay that way the rest of his life. What was that in the locker room? What was the emotion after the game? <laughs> just we just <laughs> them, you know, down twenty versus a, a good team like Colorado that was in the top twenty five at one point. Um, just to be able to do what we just did. And started on the defensive end, man, emotions was everywhere. Guys were just excited we got this win. But, man, wins like that means more when, it, when it's a unit, when everybody plays their part. 20 played his part on the offensive end, led us. Everybody <coughs> sat down on the defensive end and, and played their part. Dawes got in foul trouble. Gus Larson came in and came up huge for us there at the end. So uh, when, when those wins just come together and everybody plays their role and everybody fights and we fight through adversity, the wins just mean so much more. I was going to say, you, know, you guys have played about down the high schools, Butler, San Diego State, Arizona State, games that went down the wire and you couldn't get over the hump. Why was tonight different? I think it was because of the UCLA game. I think the UCLA game, we found our, our what would you say? What's the word you would use? Um, our identity. You know, um, our identity is we got to play defense. We're a talented team, but we're not ultra talented where we just go out there, roll the ball, and play basketball, you know? So that game really taught us that we had to have our brother's back. I had to have his back, he has my back, you know? And I feel like that helped us get over the hump today. And I would just say, to chime in on that, just trials and tribulations. We, like you said, we've been through so much adversity. So um, like you said, those, those, uh, that loss versus Butler and other crunch time games, like, that, those, like the film teaches us. So next time we get in uh, like the situation like tonight, uh, we can execute and come through with the win. Jalen, Jalen, thanks. Thank you.